man, this 90s pop culture video thing is not working out. I'm a call friend, I'm sure they can help me. Hey Kenny, I have this video idea on 90s pop culture games, but I only found two based on 90s pop culture figures, and one of them was released on the Game Boy Advance. Any ideas? Well, why not just make it entirely on pop culture games, and not just exclusive to any decade? Alright, that works. Any suggestions? Do TV show video games count? TV show video games count. Uh, Drake and Josh, that's Little Raven. Zoe 101, and Home Improvement. That's oddly specific. Did you plan for this or something? No. Kenny. Maybe? Well, that's a total of six games, so that helps a lot. Wait! Hang on, I do have a suggestion. Can you review Kirby 64? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure, I'll, I'll be happy to do that. I do have other suggestions, though. Alright, let me hear it. Kaizo Mario? I'm not that good. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I'm not a masochist. Bugsy 3D! I already did that one. Not as a let's play. No. Oh. Well, I guess he hung up. Are you ready? Hey guys, Chris and Nick, and welcome to this video. Pop culture. Pop culture is an interesting subject to tackle in that anything essentially covered by mainstream media in our entertainment can classify as such, such as people like Britney Spears, Raymond Simone, and even shitty ass Justin Bieber. Wait, what's that? He cleaned up his act? A bullet for him. Wait, the Manchester? Okay, that's actually pretty cool of him. And of course, we ended up having video games based on these pop culture figures of all sorts. And we're gonna be, for this video, sticking with primarily, uh, handheld ones. Aside from one, anyway. Let's start with NSYNC. Get to the show for the Game Boy Color. Let's go! Uh, jump around? I'm, I'm not sure I want to. The game starts off with Justin Timberlake telling you that as your number one fan, you're about to be their driver to bring them to places that they ask. I mean, it makes sense. Hire the number one fan that could clearly be having an obsession issue. Alright, control seems simple enough. You know, you know, I got a funny feeling that I kind of spoke too soon. I mean, it's simple enough, but when the bandmates ask to be dropped off somewhere, you immediately have to make a turn to get there, and a lot of the time, you will not be ready. I only managed to get Chris to the movies, and that's it. Whoa, 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 whoa. good job? Good. What are you talking about? I failed miserably. Look, I get it. This is a kid's game, kind of. But even Sesame Street games told you when you messed up as a means to teach you right from wrong, in a sense. Now I gotta help. Now I gotta help keep in sync and sleep and tell rabble rousers to shut up. But they never gave any sort of legend map or whatever you want to call it to tell who's in sync and who's an internet troll. Due to the graphics, I can't tell Chris Kirkpatrick from... John Travolta from Greece? Let's move on to something else. And that goes on the sheet. Let's see, next we got... Britney's Dance Beat for the Game Boy Advance. Should be a fun one. It's not. It's a rhythm game. You press one button and it makes me dizzy. Moving on. And there you go, the sun sheet. Uh, next we have... Well, no more music games, it seems. And next is... 
Drake, Drake and Josh? They made a game on Drake and Josh? Okay, so the language options for booting this up are for English and French. Well, was this game developed by the Trumps or something? Oh great, more password bullshit on a Game Boy Advance game. Oh, just what I always wanted. Oh god, Drake, Josh, what happened to you? Did you have too many ambrosias? Oh god. So the plot of this so far is that Josh accidentally killed Megan's cactus and now she's mad at both Drake and also Josh. That's pretty much it. Oh, then it turns out Drake is late and has to get to school as quickly as possible. He makes it but has to sneak in without being seen. I, I, I don't understand why, because being seen would probably make things faster. Oh. Oh, this looks horrendous. And it's a Metal Gear Solid clone. Yeah, it's basically a, a sneaky sneaker thin game with B for sneaking, switches for doors, and cameras watching your every move. By the way, the last two things mentioned, owned by Megan. You know, you know, I'm pretty sure there should have been an episode where the FBI got up their door and arrest Megan. Yeah, she's a child, but no child should have access to this shit. And we come to a major issue with this game. There's a camera and two hall monitors guarding the switch. I could go around, but there's a jock that will clearly see me. And, if I, and I can't go behind him because there's a teacher right fucking there. Every path is unable to be cleared, and that is just horrid game design. Yeah, Drake and Josh on GP8, you can join little buddies on the handheld here. You just made the sheet! Alright, next is the... Zoe 101? Really? We ain't doing that. Let's skip ahead to the next one. I'm not even putting it on the list. It's not even worth it. What's next? Uh, that's so Raven for Game Boy Advance. Oh my! Honestly, it's not too bad. It doesn't involve sneaking around, thank God, and ends up basing most of the game on select episodes of the show. Though th this handbag thing, th it seems pretty useless. To deal with any enemies, you used a finite amount of water bottles and perfume spray, but honestly, I just found it easier to dodge them and just progress the story. Still, the main story I did do involved Raven and her old friend not spite of her rival, Alana. I think that's the name, Alana. Raven tries to save her from an AV fall and pushes her into pain. Raven tries to apologize, but Alana plans revenge or something, and it gets a bit obsessive with how much Raven wants to say sorry to her. I mean, who puts a tracker in people to... You know what, I, I, I don't want to know. Yeah, given that the game is average, I'm I'm not gonna put it on the sheet as well. I mean it's average, so. The last game we have up, I was originally gonna plan to have it as a part two, but I can't get that far in that game for the life of me to warrant a part two, so. Home improvement for the Super Nintendo. So the intro goes on for a bit, and by a bit I mean three fucking minutes, where Tim Allen now has a line of tools in his name. Yeah, I know that's not the character, but fuck it. Turns out they were stolen, and we gotta get them back. Everyone knows real craftsmen don't need more power, Tim. Ow! Don't give me that new age philosophy. You know, given the politics with this guy, I don't know if this is genius or just a coincidence. Go back to the stone age where you belong? Again, not sure if this is clever or just happenstance. And the game starts and... Many issues. First off, I'm not even sure what button does what, but it feels like everything is mapped to the Y button. Or was it the A button? In addition, I'm not even sure what dictates your health. I lost all the lug nuts I had, but I still had a couple more hits left, so it couldn't have been that. It just felt random. Third, most of the weapons are practically worthless. I thought this thing could be used as a grappling hook or a special weapon, but it just doesn't do anything. Also, it's very easy to die. I'm amazed that Jontron got as far as he did. Maybe he hired those rich whites that didn't need pay. Okay, got this crate, but I can't seem to figure out how to get back up there. I guess the only way to go is further down.
just made the sheet. That's so far five games on this list, four for today. Don't say anything, do nothing. Special thanks to my good friend the Stupicide for helping with this video. Links to his YouTube, art page, etc. in the description below and will be that way for a little while so I can help him get his channel started. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click the like button to show your support and you can subscribe for more. Click any of the cards and such to check out the videos there and whatnot. You can also check out my social medias in the description below. And please remember to stay awesome. Bye bye